Hey y'all, it's your girl Tishonda Renee. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm sharing another recipe for chili. So if you would like to see how I do it, please stay tuned. So jumping right into the video, I'm gonna brown two pounds of ground turkey. Now you can use any kind of ground meat you choose. Um, I just prefer ground turkey. To that, I'm gonna add one small white onion, as well as about a fourth of a cup of green pepper. I'm gonna season it with black pepper and some kosher salt. And you can season that to taste. I usually use about a half teaspoon each of the black pepper and salt. Um, I know I have several chili recipes on my channel already, but this time I wanted to share with you my favorite way to eat chili, and that is with spaghetti noodles. While your meat is browning, you wanna go ahead and make sure to cook your spaghetti. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the chili while I'm waiting on the spaghetti to cook. So I've added 29 ounces of tomato sauce, one can of diced tomatoes, and I think that's a 15 ounce can. Also, I'm adding one can of stewed tomatoes, and that is a 15 ounce can as well. Next, I'm gonna add my beans. I'm adding one 16 ounce can of red beans in a mild chili sauce, and I'm adding one 16 ounce can of dark red kidney beans, and those are also in a mild chili sauce. Hold on to your 29 ounce can because you're gonna use that to measure uh, in just a few moments. Next, I'll just mix that all together and then I'll begin to season it. And you wanna cook your chili at about a medium heat. Um, you don't want it too high because you wanna avoid scorching the bottom of the pan. Now to season your chili, you're gonna use anywhere from two and a half to three and a half ounces of chili powder. And my favorite chili powder is Blamer's um, chili powder. I'm not sure that you can buy it outside of Louisville, um, but that is my favorite chili powder. Um, then you're gonna add ground cumin and I'm gonna use two and a half tablespoons of ground cumin. Do not be afraid of the cumin. Next, I'm gonna add two packs of French's Chilio seasoning, and I'm using the original. They also make a pack that has an onion flavor to it, and I do not like that at all, so I would not recommend that one. Next, I'm gonna add 29 ounces of water. That's why I said hold back that 29 ounce can, um, cause you can just fill that up with water and then um, add it to your pot. If you want to use broth instead of water, that's fine, but it's definitely not needed. Um, the water, is it does the trick. It's just fine. So um, you do not have to add any onion powder or garlic powder, no sugar, anything like that. Everything you need is going to be in that Chilio um, mix. So once you have all your seasonings in, you're just gonna stir it really, really good. And you're gonna allow it to simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes without a lid. If you want a thinner chili, definitely go ahead and add the lid, but it's never gonna thicken up if you add that lid. Leaving the lid off will allow just the right amount of liquid to evaporate to get that chili to the perfect consistency. After you've allowed the chili to simmer for 20 to 25 minutes, you want to go ahead and taste it. That's the most important part. Um, you wanna taste it before you add your spaghetti uh, because once you add the spaghetti, it will kind of soak up, well, it's gonna soak up some of that seasoning. So you wanna make sure it's seasoned to perfection. So right here, this is what your chili should look like right before you add your spaghetti. Um, as you can see, the seasonings are well combined. 
You should have cooked your spaghetti according to the box. Um, you just wanted al dente. Um, you don't really want it mushy before you add it to the chili because it's going to continue to simmer. Also, I forgot to mention, be sure to use thin spaghetti. I'm not sure why, but it does make a big difference. And I cooked about eight ounces of spaghetti. It's just about half of a small box. Now you wanna mix that in really well and you're gonna allow your chili to simmer again for about 10 to 15 minutes. You wanna allow the spaghetti to soak up the flavor of the chili. So yeah, now you're just gonna allow it to simmer for those 15 minutes and then your chili is all done. If you have not had your chili with spaghetti, do not knock it before you try it. It is so good. I think you'll like it if you give it a try. And as always, be sure to check out the description box below if you're looking for a list of ingredients and exact measurements of everything I used. So if you decide to try this recipe with the spaghetti, be sure to come back and let me know how you liked it. And if you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.